Okay, now let's turn our attention to the total or stagnation pressure in compressible flow. If we go back to our fluid element, it's going along on our streamline. Again, we've got rho t, p, Mach number, and velocity. Now, if we slow down that fluid to zero velocity, both adiabatically and reversibly, so that it's an isentropic deceleration, then the resulting density and pressure are the stagnation density and the stagnation pressure. The stagnation temperature is the same as before, since the isentropic process is also adiabatic. Now, we'll come to know how to relate the stagnation quantities to the fluid Mach number soon. But first, let's think about another special value of these properties, which we call rho star or p star or t star. And these define the properties that would exist if the flow is adiabatically brought to the speed of sound, Mach 1. And that's for the this temperature. And if the process is also reversible, then the star state is for the density and pressure as well. So then speed of sound at Mach 1 is A star, where A is the speed of sound, square root of gamma R T star. And you will have learned in your third year fluids course that in general for a uh, perfect gas that the speed of sound is square root of gamma times R times T. Okay, so now let's look at some special forms of the energy equation um, and how we can relate the total and static quantities. So let's start with our definition of stagnation pressure. And manipulate this with a little algebra to get following. And if we write this another way, using our definition of CP, it's 2 gamma RT over gamma minus 1. And now we recognize that our definition of speed of sound has appeared so that we can write that tt over t is 1 plus b squared over 2 a squared over gamma minus 1. Pulling out the velocity and speed of sound terms, we get 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2 times b squared over a squared. So therefore, the stagnation temperature to static temperature ratio is 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2 times the Mach number squared. So this temperature ratio depends only on the Mach number for a gas with a given value of the specific heat ratio gamma. Now, since the stagnation pressure and density are defined as those values that would be obtained after decelerating the flow to zero, zero velocity isentropically, we can use the isentropic relations that we developed last time to relate the stagnation and static states. So 
combining these equations, what we get is that the stagnation pressure over the static pressure is 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2 m squared to the gamma over gamma minus 1, and the stagnation density over the density is 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2 m squared, 1 over gamma minus 1. So again, for a known gamma, these depend only on Mach number. Now, if there are a few formula that you ought to memorize, just because you'll use them so often, these three that are boxed here are among them. Or really, you only need to remember this one and this, and you can derive these.